Hello, and welcome back to the A through Z playthrough, where we go through every single hero in Heroes of the Storm, and try to give you guys a quick insight, maybe find a build you might want to try, or any of that stuff. Something to convince you that this champion is okay to play. Because I know it's, you know, if you're starting out, it's kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. You're like, all, all these characters cost so much gold pieces, and I really want to play them, but, you know, I don't know how to do it. So I'll give you a little bit of an insight into that. Today, the Wheel of Fate has landed on the Nexuses. The Nexi, the Nexuses. I don't know. Another a, a warrior, a tank from the Diablo universe. Uh, she embodies the Crusader, and her name is Johanna. So she's really fun. She brings a lot of control to a lane or to a team fight with her slows and her stuns and her just interruptions. Her trait is really useful. It makes her immune and gives her a shield, or it makes her unstoppable. Sorry, that's what they call it in this game. Uh, unstoppable. Overall, she's a really good tank. She's got a very large health pool. Her only weakness is that she, once she's in, she's in. So there's usually no getting away. You can take like her heroic and get away or whatever, but generally you don't want to do that. She's really good, and a lot of people don't like playing her. I don't know why, but we'll get into the game, and we'll try to see if we can figure out why people don't like Johanna. For the horde. All, right. All right. Here we are in the game. We are playing Johanna today. One of the tanks, like I talked about. We actually got a decent team call. I mean, like, what is this? Not on Vikings. Yeah, the enemy team has lost Vikings, so that's kind of strange. Uh, for today's build, we will be going with one of my favorite talents for Johanna level 1, the Laws of Hope, which is an, you activate it every 40 seconds, and you can heal 30% of your health over 4 seconds. The passive is that you regen 1.6% extra health per second. So we are going to go down to the bottom lane. This is the newly remapped. Uh, remastered, remapped Hanamura, which we saw in the Hanzo video. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. So if you've never seen Johanna before, her Q is called Punish. It is like a little arc in front of her, and it will si not silence, uh, slow down enemies and do a decent amount of damage. Her W, I call Gather Em Up, but it's called Condemn. And what that does is that it will let you do something like this. We can condemn them and bring them in. And we are going to activate our hope there. Laws of hope. And we're going to go ahead and use her trait where we are unstoppable. Get a kill there. Look at that. We got, got the turnaround. Her E is called the shield glare. I'm going to stand still. Let this Ana hit me. Her E is the shield glare which lets her blind enemy champions, not making them be able to do any auto attacks for 1.5 seconds, and you can't take talents to increase or... not decrease, but increase. Just increase. We go ahead and grab the region globe there for our friend. Uh, they are very ranged heavy, so this is kind of hard. This is not where, like, Johanna does her best work. We're gonna activate our walls of hope again. Kinda hang back. We're just here to harass. So, there we go, we got a kill on the Midget Viking. And we are going to kind of, kind of get him in there, kind of blind Hanzo a little bit, get the shield glare in there, or the uh, unstoppable shield. So we do take a lot of damage, but you generally want to pick up... Actually, this is actually a decent comp for us to go against. Um, for this map... Since they have a lot of auto attacks, I'm actually going to go for the auto attack or the shield glare build. Except for this talent, I'm going to go with the conviction so I can get back there a little bit. It gives an increased movement speed, so it gives us a little bit something extra. So we were able to land the sleep on material, but unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot going on down here. The Nova is roaming up top to get some Viking juicy kills. We did miss our Q, because I just, just missed it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're going to go ahead and blind the Hanzo. Go ahead and get them. 
Pop the Unstoppable. There's a little bit of a shield. We're gonna back up since we don't have our Laws of Hope. We're gonna blind the Hanzo again. Now keep in mind that blinding them, they are still able to use spells and stuff on you. They just can't auto-attack you. So we are gonna move up to the objective. Hopefully. Move up to the objective. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> We did encounter the Cassia here, but we can kind of zone her out. The enemy team is closing in. Uh, our Anna Banana is not here. So we can go ahead and kind of stall this as much as we can. The false dead is going very deep. Uh, I forget that we have Nova. Looks like Gul'dan's holding his own down there. We did get the sleep, so we're going to move in on her. Punish her a little bit for kind of outstepping us here. Go ahead and blind them. And here come the Lost Vikings, ladies and gentlemen. Making their appearance. Making their disappearance as well, as Gul'dan disenchants their face is. Okay. Uh, we do have Serial coming in here the backside, where you're going to want to poke him out. And we should be able to get up in here. Let's go for the, the Zealous Glare, which is going to increase the, the duration of the blind by 0.5 seconds, and if I basic attack them, it can increase it even more. So, so boom. So, I can trade pretty well with that into certain champions like the Hanzo a little bit better. He'll be able to not, you know, auto-attack me to death. Another good option for this honestly would have been the... Ah, uh, well, you know, it happens. Um, another good option would have been the Subdue talent. I really, really like this talent. I don't see it get played a whole lot. So if you hit four people with your Q ability, you will be able to uh, finish the quest, and that's the only way to finish it. And it will permanently slow them for 80% that doesn't decay anymore. So it's really strong, and Ellie thinks so too. She missed me all week. I've been gone all week. And she's like, hi, Dad. And I'm going to leave her again soon because I'm recording all these videos, and we are going to Florida tonight. So, well, by the time you guys see this, it'll be... Tuesday, so we'll be back in a couple days. Five missing in action, okay. The enemy team will reach level 10 before us, but it is no big deal. We are not too far behind. Can we get to that pick right there? Oh, we cannot. We did miss that a little bit. I was a little distracted. That was my bad. We can secure the kill there. Bullshit. Okay, we are level 10. I'm going to go for the Blessed Shield, which is my favorite heroic of hers. The other one is the Falling Sword. It's also pretty good, depending on the situation, but I prefer Blessed Shield, personally. Okay, we are going to... Get away, get away, get away, get away. Okay, there we go. Get the slow on her. Makes it easier for her to stack up her quest. Put the blind on them. Okay, Gul'dan is coming down. So we will try to hang on for him. Ooh, a little bit of lag spike there. Okay, Gul'dan is up there, disenchanted material. Oh, bull Okay, well, we, we were not able to get the kill on the Hanzo because he wimped out. I think we are pressing the advantage here. Pushing them back. Uh, we did make Hanzo drop fairly low. Let us go escort the payload. We will be taking it to their base this time. So it'll be a little bit harder for us. They will probably be all healed up and ready to go. Cassia is raring to go. We need the entire team here. So Gul'dan, please. If you would. Be a gentleman.
Okay, that is a good gust by the false dead there. And we did confirm the kill on the Hanzo. But a cool band has fallen and the the Cassia has fallen as well. False dead has fallen. The uh, Tyrael judgmented in the back there. Okay, we will stun him. We are trying to peel him off the Ana. Kind of slow him down a little bit here. Get him, get him, get him. There we go, there we go. And no one took damage from his trait. And we were able to deliver the tower. Or the, uh, the shot. We will be going for the... I really like the Holy Fire. So we're going to go for the Holy Fire for a little bit of extra damage. Okay, and Midget Viking has fallen. Okay, Cassia is back and in action. Hanzo is also down here. We will go and get our big brother Genji over here. Oh no, oh no. He hits very hard. I wonder if I can find him. Oh, you can. Excellent. Okay, apparently it is very hard to move out of that. Or at least for me, as Johanna. Okay, they are getting that mercenary camp, so they will have vision on us. We're gonna go ahead and try to get her, and we're gonna blind him, and we're gonna kind of back out, give ourselves a little bit of healing there. And that merc will stay dead for the long time if we ever want to get that camp. Top lane's going pretty well. Falstad's doing all right up there. Uh, they know we're here. They can see us. So this is pretty risky for us. But as long as we play it cool, then it should be okay. I'll go ahead and silence. Oh, well, that was weird. Okay. Meanwhile, our big brother Genji has been pushing down in the bottom lane. Go ahead and blind them. Get the little auto attack damage in there. The Nova is dropping the ult. We did confirm the kill on the white main. Grab that regen globe. It looks like Tyrael still wants to hang around here, so we are going to punish him a little bit for it. We are running low on the mana, but we will get the holy renewal, so we heal for each enemy hit by a shield glare. Um, I'm oom gonna back. So, the enemy team is pushed up, so this is not looking good for them, but they still can come back. Let us meet up right here, if we can. Okay, excellent. We will be having to deliver it into their base again. A little bit harder, but we are 16. They are now 16, so everything that I said, throw out the window. We will be grabbing this turret, though. Which will help us push the advantage on this. They also picked up their big brother Genji. As the Lost Vikings continue to soak for them, we are going to go up here and peel for our team. Okay, they are out safely. Nova, in the meantime, is pushing that in. Going to go ahead and try to get out of here. That is a good horror. Fun. We did get a kill on Fat Viking. Kind of get him off there. Get away from my dude there. Good job. Good job. Okay. Um, they, the payload has stood still now. And we did confirm the kill on the Hanzo with the speed boost we picked up earlier. Okay. And we can continue. They come back over here, guys. We can continue to push this. They have the lost assholes. But, you know, that's not going to stop us. Okay, that might stop me from now. But... Okay, we are not going to be able to catch up to them. We're going to go ahead and drop this. Drop this. The Anna Banana is healing us as much as she can. We are going to go try to peel for our Ghoul Dan. But our whole team is taking damage. We need some help back here, friends. We did get the push there. We need to go and stop this. I think it should just be Tyrion and some Vikings, maybe. So, 
Okay, we did get the confirmed kill on the Tyrael. We will be popping our heal. Ana is down. That is unfortunate, but you know, that happens sometimes. Uh, Hanzo is looking to poke. But honestly, we could be able, should be able to uh, hurt him pretty well. Our team is very healthy. Minus the Gul'dan now. But Hanzo is looking for trouble. And he has found it with the Nova there. And he does hop over the wall. We are going to try to get a pick on these little assholes. And we do manage to get two kills. We need to be pushing this though, my friends. Nice. We are pushing it towards their base. They will be up. There they are. They are ready. Their bodies are ready and they are willing. We do have all our cooldowns up. Most of our heroics are up. We could not peel for them, so we will back. Oh, we are going to die, friends. We are going to die. That is okay. That is okay. I did. I forgot our Ana was down. So, my bad. Um, they should be able to push that. Kill two. I must have missed something. Um, they will be pushing it back towards us. Ow, they're talking about the, uh, the, uh, oh, okay, just, just back out if we can. Yeah, pick up that turret. I don't know why you didn't pick up the turret in the first place, but it'll be okay. No big deal. They will hit level 20 before us, though, so that will be a little rough for us. But it's because they have the lost asshole soaking up their lanes for them while they go ahead and do the objective. So we do end up losing this. Well, unless Nova can stop it real fast. No, 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 Nova. Sorry. Bad. Oh, no. That was unfortunate. Oh, no. Okay, now we are just throwing this. Um. Okay. Interesting. It should be able to take this keep, I think. We're just going to poke a little bit. So we did manage to lose our first structure down there, and we will be losing the top one, it looks like, as well, if we don't play our cards right. The Vikings should be able to take that top one. They are level 20, and we are on the very cusp. With this wave, we should get 20, and we do. So we're going to pick Indestructible, one of my favorite talents for Johanna. So if we were to take Fatal Damage, we gain a shield for a shit, like, half our health, I think. Equal to, her, equal to her maximum health. Oh, wow. Okay, that is a very strong shield. So, we're going to poke our heads in here. Let's see if we can take Genji Brother. Without being detected. It's not very likely, but, you know. It would be nice if our team were to help us there a little bit, but I guess the tank and the healer got this on pet. They are probably picking up, yeah, they're picking up their camps. So that's good for them. Gather these minions up. Okay. Oh no. Okay, we did manage to pick up a kill on the Cassia, who dove in a little too deep on us. We are going to turn this around, make sure no one is being attacked, okay. Okay, uh, our team does not want to engage this, we should. The enemy team is pushing up top with their lost assholes. Okay, we did get the vision, we should pick up that camp right there. Falstead I think can handle those three. Oh no, it's big Genji boy, oh is he the Merc Queen, or Merc thing? They might. Oh yeah, they do. I see it down there. So we managed to double kill and kill Big Brother Genji. Okay, they are doing. They are doing that camp down bottom. We because we have vision on them, we can see them doing it. 
They might be wanting to invade this, because they know we're here probably. We're gonna go pick up the turret. And we will be meeting up here. The Vikings are all back. And they are right above us. Escort the payload. Okay, they are right there. Drop a cheeky spray. Okay, we got them to pop their thing already. No, we couldn't reach her. need to uh, turn around there. Okay, they are getting healed. Yeah, we tried to turn around and get that Tyria, but we were too far out of position. Ana was too far. So, the easy game that we had started playing has turned into a rough death match. Okay. We will be going in here, maybe. We interrupted the Tyrion. Material probably is looking for a charge there. Oh no, I didn't get any of those heals. Okay, he managed to gust them back. For now. So we've bought some time. So with Johanna, you do bring the excellent wave grip. They are probably looking for their camps. I see three assholes up top. We don't need to be splitting, so. I do want this vision, though. This camp is very easy to take. No big deal for us. Keep that up, and maybe I will retire. Oh, they are looking for that other camp. Okay, we, let's go up. I like it. Let's uh, see what we can do here. They will probably will be looking for an invade on this. Or I would if I were them. There you go. And here comes the Lost Vikings, if we can get them all. Okay, all the Vikings are down. So that is one annoyance down. Big Brother Genji is here, though. God, he hurts so much. This is our camp, so we are going to take it from them. They don't want to fight this. Especially down the Lost Vikings. But they will be back up for the most part. Hey, Hanzo's ult is down. That is good for us. They are going to try to flank from behind, it looks like. That is not bueno with me. That was a good ult. Good ult all around. We have a hard time catching up. What is under attack on our base? Some, okay, False Day went back to get it. Interesting. So, we killed, managed to kill everyone except the White Mane and the, the Vikings, but that's fine. What is killing our base? Well done. 
We do manage to secure this, though. That is good. A whiff from the Nova is all right. Let, let us take their camp right here. <laughs> you just, like, pushed him out of the way. <laughs> just like, eh, you're not going to heal him. Just pushed out of the way, body. Okay, pick up the turret for our team here. The enemy team has picked up Big Brother Genji. We are going to kind of hang around to make sure that he doesn't get absolutely lay fucked. So that would be bad for us. Falstead has managed to pick up our big, 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 big brother Genji. And we did manage to take down the last fort for them. And damage that top keep a little bit. Nothing great, but oh, we need to go. I need help here. We are going to go up and around over here. Okay, we are managing to keep him in check there. We are going to fall. Oh, no, I forgot. We can heal. We did manage to escape there. Barely. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> that is the beauty of Johanna, boys. We thought we were down and out, but we got around. The Ana really helped us out, too, so that was good. Your core is under attack. That was a good engagement from us. I don't know what happened. Um, we need to not hang out around there. Because they can just shoot over the wall. Because apparently walls don't stop Hanzo's arrows. So, that's interesting. see what we can do here. They are picking up our camp. There's nothing we can do about it though. We are down our false dead. Let us see what they are up to. They are definitely looking for something. They want that. Now they will invade here. I'm almost certain. Maybe not. They wanted their own big brother Genji. But we can we can all fight like right here. That would be good for us. Yeah, the clone doesn't stop that for some reason, even though it counts as a hero. I don't have my turret anymore. That is unfortunate. Ooh, that is I'm taking a lot of damage from that. down again but it is okay because I think we're gonna lose anyway they just had too much pressure on us their big brother Genji's and their Katas just did it for them so GG uh, look at that damage you see that da that is a lot of damage that was a really good game actually very close and we actually got MVP so uh, excellent that it was it was a really good game. It showed off a lot of Johanna's strengths and weaknesses, I feel. Crunkleton. I'm definitely going to vote for that Ana. The Ana played outstandingly well for the circumstances we had. Gul'dan, actually everyone on our team played really well. They just had better pressure, and we just couldn't answer it very well. So, no big deal. It happens. Isn't that right, Ellie? It happens. We did hit level 21 with Johanna. Excellent. 
So for the stats today, we went 1, 18, and 3 with 49,000 siege damage, 74,000 hero damage, 162,542 tanking, which was about 50,000 more than Tyrael, because Johanna can take a lot of fucking hits. She is great at that. She's great at being a meat bag. But, uh, and our, you know, our, our wave clear is really good. Our soaking is excellent. Uh, like I said, she just lacks a solid escape, and that is her one of her biggest problems. Which you know, if she didn't have that, then she'd be like top tier always. The uh, enemy team are look at that stat from our Ana player. That Ana was on point. Excellent job, Ellie. You are so cute right now. But again, we just got out soaked and we got out pushed. So though, that, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to: is who can kill the core first and in this case we could not get there because the pressure from their minion waves and everything was just enormous we had a lot of wave clear but we couldn't team fight and wave clear at the same time which was one of our biggest problems so for talents today we went for the laws of hope conviction zealous glare blessed shield holy fury holy renewal and indestructible which saved us a few times so, next time we will be playing one of the Overwatch assassins newer to the Nexus, Junkrat. One of my favorite ranged assassins, although we started off on a rocky relationship. But if you liked the video, that's it. Uh, be sure to comment down below. I love getting you guys' comments. Like, I came home, I saw that you guys had commented on some of my videos, and I was like, oh my god, yes, feedback. I love feedback. Be sure to share it with your friends if you like it, if you enjoy my subpar commentary it'll only get more subpar from here so be sure to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and i will see you folks next time goodbye oh ellie you're in the way <laughs> i love you